What's up guys? Um, I got a quick unboxing. Or it's actually, the unboxing is done because I've already, I've already uh, recorded this twice. But uh, I got a couple pops this week, a couple books, and I got a couple books in from J. Scott Campbell. So let's go over that stuff real quick. I'll do the uh, pops first since they're right here and available. I got a uh, Nosferatu. That's a cool little pop. Let's see if I can uh, do something better with the lighting. Here we go. Got Nosferatu. It's a really cool one. I like him a lot. I got Hannibal Lecter. It's another one of my horror pops. And then I got Ghostface from the Scream movies. That's a, that's a really cool pop also. So those are my three horror pops that I got this week. And then uh, I got three or four pops that were already unboxed. Um, I purchased them that way. They came as a set. I got Clay. Uh, this is all the Sons of Anarchy. I got Clay. I got Jax Teller. I got Gemma Teller. She's got little tiny feet, so uh, she doesn't stand up very well on her own. But got Gemma. Yeah, she's doing just fine. And then I got Opie, Jax's best friend. One of my favorite characters in the show. So that's my pops. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll set these guys aside. I'll have to figure out some way to display the pops that aren't in boxes. Um, they're, it's not that big of a deal that they're not in boxes for me. I may or may not unbox these and display them somehow. I really haven't thought that far ahead. But anyways, that's the pops. I'll, uh, I'll set them right here out of the way-ish. Um, the books, I'll go ahead and go over. I got, you guys saw this book last week. It was something that got sent to me wrong. Um, I got to keep it instead of filing a dispute with eBay or whatever um, to try and get a refund on, on the stuff that I'm missing. Let me uh, shut this other light off. Yeah. There we go. All Star Squadron. 37, it's a cool cover with Superman, uh, Shazam, Wonder Woman, and it looks like Marvel Girl, maybe. Not 100% sure. I wasn't really in the market for that book, so it kind of got me by surprise. Um, I got the uh, Batman uh, Lentacular, what is it, number 22, the third part of the button story. I got that a couple days ago. Um, next one is Nick Fury number one. I really like the pink and white. Um, picked that one up this week. Uh, Walking Dead 167. Yep, 167. It's a thick, nice thick comic book. Um, continue on with the run. Um, this one, I got the idea from getting this one from Alex the Comic Order. Uh, I haven't had this book yet. Um, it's X-Men 262. It's one of my favorite Rogue covers, and I, this is just my first copy. Um, I'm glad he mentioned it, because I've been wanting it for a while, and I just haven't thought about it. It's been on the back burner, but I appreciate you mentioning that, so now I can get me a copy. And then uh, this one, uh, Suicide Squad 16, cover B. Um, this book has been pretty hot lately. It's supposed to be $2.99 for the cover price, and my LCS is kind of scalping them. They're picking them up, taking them right off the shelves, putting them in the back room, and then putting them on eBay. So I had to pay eight bucks for one, one of their eBay copies. Um, so I paid eight bucks for it, for a three-year-old book. Uh, but they're going for that on eBay, so I would have paid for it on eBay. But the bad part about it is uh, it's not even in perfect condition. It's got a couple little spine ticks on it, so. It is what it is. It's probably still a 9.4, So. That's a bummer. And then uh, the J. Scott Campbell stuff, which is also a bummer. I contacted them. Um, they said they would get back to me uh, because when I opened them up, I got a uh, cover A. This cover has a little bit of damage. You can see it right there. And it goes all the way through the book and through her jacket. So yeah. Right there. So yeah, it's a uh, you know it's like a maybe a printing error or something, 
Not 100% mm -hmm. sure, but I got a hold of uh, J. Scott Campbell and uh, I got a hold of the admin for his website and they said they would uh, get back to me. They, you know, they asked me to send pictures. I already did that. So now I'm waiting to find out what they're going to do. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, X-Men Volume 2, or I'm sorry, Cover B of the X-Men Blue set. And then uh, Cover C. That's uh, the whole three-piece set. Um, the Virgin cover is my favorite. And also, uh, this Beast, this is the first time Jay Scott Campbell's drawn Beast for Marvel. So um, I'm really happy to have those. So all in all, it was a good haul. Hopefully, uh, we'll see what uh, J. Scott Campbell's gonna do about this. Um, it's not the worst condition. I mean, if I probably tried to send this one to CGC, it'll probably come back at like a six and a half. So I don't want to send this one in for sure. So hopefully he can either swap it out with a new one or send me another copy. Um, I know they're not um, on short supply because uh, they're still available on his website. So hopefully he can get that taken care of for me. And I hopefully don't have to go to the post office to send it back. Cause I, I'm too lazy for that. I can't do that. So uh, anyways, thanks guys for checking them out. Here's my pops. There's Gemma, Jax. Oops, there's Gemma's little flimsy feet. And then uh, Opie. So, thanks guys for watching. Um, also, I guess while it's here, if anybody is interested in this um, rock candy, this is the Enchantress, the GameStop exclusive uh, rock candy vinyl. I don't collect these. Um, when I f my first set of pops that I bought, uh, it was like two of them at a convention, and the guys threw this one in with the set. So, uh, you know, I took it. If you guys are interested in it, um, just leave me a comment saying uh, I'm interested in the rock candy or I want it, something like that. And uh, maybe I'll do some kind of like random thing online to see you. Uh, I'll send it out as an A-OK -okay or something. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you around.